Hello from NLC's headquarters in Washington, D.C. I'm John Cool, Senior Executive for Digital Engagement, Marketing, and Communications. In this monthly series, we're highlighting three things you need to know from all of the incredible work NLC is doing to support America's cities, towns, and villages. First up, Women's History Month. This March and year-round, NLC celebrates women's leadership in local government. NLC's Women in Municipal Government Constituency Group, or WIMINGE, is a space for female elected officials to network, communicate, and raise awareness about issues important to women. Wimage welcomes new members throughout the year, and membership is complimentary to elected officials from NLC member cities. Next up, NLC's Congressional City Conference. Earlier this month, more than 3,000 local leaders gathered in Washington for CCC. Attendees heard from President Biden and a range of administration officials and members of Congress from both sides of the aisle. Three years ago today, I signed the American Rescue Plan. It provided $350 billion to state and local governments for you to decide how it be spent. We trusted you, and that trust has been well placed because you've done a hell of a job. As part of the conference, more than 1,000 local leaders went up to Capitol Hill to advocate on behalf of their communities and urge lawmakers to take action on a number of top local priorities. Our meetings on Capitol Hill are also a focus of several of NLC's top priorities, like the bipartisan Railway Safety Act. This is going to improve rail safety and better protect our first responders at the local level who keep our community safe every time a train is derailed. Along with rail safety, local leaders also urge Congress to bring fiscal certainty to local governments by passing FY24 funding bills and to pass the Bipartisan Affordable Connectivity Program Extension Act to keep low-income households connected to the internet while Congress determines the long-term future of the program. And finally, as part of our centennial celebration, NLC traveled to Lawrence, Kansas last month to visit the birthplace of NLC where 10 state municipal leagues first met at the University of Kansas in 1924. We are here in Lawrence, Kansas, guys, at uh, KU, where it all happened, in the room where it happened. While 100 years have passed, the mission of NLC remains the same, to relentlessly advocate for and protect the interests of cities, towns, and villages. To learn more about NLC's centennial celebration, visit nlc100.org. That's three things to know for March 2024. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next month.